Hi, it's Dr. Laura Jaggett, and today I am going to show you how to pump gas. You'll know when it's time to fill up by looking at your gas gauge. If it's on empty or even near empty, fill it up. When looking at your gas gauge, you'll see a gas pump icon with an arrow on one side of it. This one shows the arrow on the left, so the gas tank is on the left side of this car. Before you get out of your car, turn the engine off. Some cars have a gas cap release button or lever inside the car. It'll be on the dash or the door or the floor. Push that button or in this case, lift the lever to open the gas tank cover on the outside of your car. If you don't have a gas cap release button, walk over to your gas tank cover and just push it in and it will release and open. Once the cover is open, there's usually a cap that you have to twist off to expose the tank. Turn it counterclockwise. Or if there's no cap, you'll just see the exposed tank opening. The screen on the gas pump will give you step-by-step -step instruction. There will be a picture showing you how to insert your credit or debit card. You will position the magnetic strip on your card the way it is shown in the picture. Sometimes it's upright, sometimes it's facing down. Just line it up like the picture. Insert the card and quickly remove it. Once the card's processed, follow the instructions on the screen. If you're using a debit card, you'll enter your PIN number, or if you're using a credit card, it will ask for the zip code of the billing address. That's the place where you get your credit card bill. Use the keypad to type in the PIN or zip code and press enter. Once the car has been approved, you're ready to pump gas. You'll have the option to select from three different types of gas. If you're not sure which to pick, look on the inside of the gas cover or around the opening of the tank and you'll see which to choose. Carefully remove the nozzle from the pump and insert it in your tank. You'll pull the trigger on the nozzle to release the flow of gas. You can stand there and hold it while it fills, or you can engage the locking mechanism. You simply secure the lever in place. It'll be under the trigger like this or behind it. You just got to look for it. You will know it's working by looking at the screen and seeing the numbers of the price in gallons increase. The pump will automatically shut off when the tank is full. Carefully remove the nozzle from the tank and place it back in the holder on the pump. If you have a gas cap, screw that back on and over tighten a bit until you hear the zipping sound that lets you know it's on tightly. Close the gas tank cover. That's all there is to it. I hope this mom and I helped you. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. I'll see you next time.